Hi my beauties and welcome back to my channel and those of you who are new here then hi my name is Ankita and today I'll be recreating this look for you all right here and this look has been created by me using very uh, minimal makeup and uh, you know taking the least of the time possible by me and this is a very easy peasy type of a makeup look you won't be people won't be facing any uh, problem in recreating this look because I personally felt that this didn't take took me like more than five to six minutes in completing this entire makeup and uh, of course not the lashes lashes do took time and uh, if you people are new to lash application then you people are even going to face a bit of a problem if you're going to go ahead with the falsies but even if you want to skip the falsies then to you guys can totally be sure that the makeup look is going to turn out awesome and with that being said I don't want this intro to go ahead and be a heck lot of a longer so I'd just like to request you all that if you people like this video then please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you people haven't already and with that being said let's not just waste any time and show you all how I got this makeup look so starting off with a prepped and a primed face, I'm taking my Lacme Absolute Smooth, Smooth Finish Foundation and I always stammer when I say that and I'm dotting it all over my face and then I'm blending it with the help of my hands. Today I wasn't in a mood of using any beauty blender but I just wanted to use my hands to blend my foundation all out so I'm spreading it all over my face. I brought it down my nose and I'm applying it onto my eyelids as well to cover the pigmentation going on around there. And now taking my NYX HD concealer, I am going to apply it onto the areas where I love concealing and highlighting. And I'm extremely sorry, I am sincerely ill <coughs> doing this voiceover. Seriously tough, you guys, trust me. And currently you can see me doing the highlighting. And I'm blending it all out with the help of my fingers while blending in a triangular shape under my eyes. I am making sure that I'm not forgetting my eyelids because they are pigmented. You guys might have observed it already and I'm blending it all out making sure that uh, all the places where I have tried to highlight with the help of concealer are purely properly blended and then taking the Freedom Pro's <laughs> setting powder, translucent setting powder, I am applying it onto the areas where I have concealed and highlighted. I'm spreading it all out with the help of my uh, paddle, soft paddle brush. And I'm not setting my entire face because I'm having a mousse finish foundation on. So it doesn't need that setting. I'm taking the LA Girls Pro palette. I am contouring my face. I'm just being a bit rough with it. I'm not into that precise stuff type of a contouring today apart from my nose which you'll observe because I love the way it actually presents my nose the start type of contouring so and this is the brush which I love for my nose contouring it just helped me blend it out and apply it so well I love the way my nose contour stands out with the help of this brush and now I'm taking the highlighting shade from the same palette and applying it onto my cheekbones this highlighter you guys is amazing trust me it's golden the reflex that it has in it are golden and it's amazing it looks way too beautiful on our skin tone an Indian type of skin tone that we have and now taking the blush from the same palette I'm applying it onto my cheeks and I didn't realize my camera didn't catch it, cashed up the blusher shade so well. So now taking the Balm Mate Matte Eyeshadow Palette, I am applying the matte rosin shade to my outer V as well as I'm extending it to my crease as well. Making sure that my eyes are not looking flat because this is the only definition that I am going to give to my eyes today. Nothing else. And taking the sorry taking the matte lombard shade i am applying it onto my eyelids 
and now for the star of the show I'm using the Maybelline's sorry Maybelline's eyeliner in the shade ocean blue and I'm lining my light eyes as usual I'm drawing a wing as well as you know uh, lining my entire eyes as I love to this is the star of the show I am not going to use any black eyeliner over this I'm just going to tight line my eyes after it and I love the way it actually you know stands out so now here you can see me using the colossal kajal and I am while it is about to finish up so it took some time for me to open it up and now I'm applying it onto my upper as well as lower lash line at the same time and now taking the Maybelline's last sensational mascara I am going to apply it onto my lashes and this will help me balance out my eyelashes when I will be <coughs> you know when I'll be applying my falsies and what I have observed if you do apply falsies without, without applying mascara it actually doesn't turn out that beautiful as, as it should and they look different so I did that I applied the mascara to my lower as well as upper lashes and now I'm taking my lipstick from Seat London this shade is called head over heels and I'm applying it onto my lips with the help of its applicator and this lipstick liquid lipstick is amazing I love it and I am sincerely sincerely in love with this and I completely forgot to fill in my brows so I am doing it right here I was thinking that something was missing on my face and this was it and voila that's pretty much it you guys this is the finished look I hope you all have enjoyed and if you did then please do not forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to comment below if you people want me to cre create any other looks so you can tell me I have a, a Facebook and an Instagram account all the details will be in the bottom bar so please don't forget to check them out as well and I'll see you all in my next video till then stay blessed and do have a very happy new year ahead.